Hi, I want to report an accident. It's on. Um, it's uh, one car that hit a pole. I, I'm not sure how many people are, are in the vehicle. I am on um, County Road 117, and there, there's a big curve, and it's right on the other side of the curve. Once the road curves around, um, it's, it's right there. You, you won't miss it. Because of longer distances and poor location descriptions, emergency response can take up to 60% longer in situations where the difference between life and death could be the difference between 5 and 10 minutes. The major difficulty that we have with the cellular phone callers is that we have to rely on the caller's information only. Sometimes in an, inf in an emergency, they may not uh, be able to tell us exactly where they're located. They may get left and right, east and west confused, and that can delay uh, response time. Because they're not on a enhanced 911 system, we can't track where the caller is. Intelligent transportation systems, like Mayday, can speed emergency response by providing vehicle location information and other necessary data to alert the EMS dispatcher that help is needed. These systems can be manually activated by the driver or automatically triggered in the event of a crash to transmit a request for help along with the vehicle's location. The basic elements of a viable Mayday system include a location technology like GPS, the Global Positioning Satellite System that can determine an accurate distress call location, a communications link such as a cellular telephone, a central computer database to display essential information about the driver, the vehicle, and their location. An emergency services center for dispatching response resources to handle the Mayday distress call. Mayday technologies enhance the emergency cellular call by automatically providing the vehicle's location to the dispatcher. By the year 2001, Existing cellular phone services will be required to pinpoint a caller's location within a radius slightly larger than a football field. But today, the technology only exists with Mayday-type services to meet the emergency response demands. I think that the Mayday market is going to be driven by the, cons by the consumers themselves, uh, uh, driven in part by the desire for security and desire for information. And so I think the drive will actually come from consumers and all of the issues that right now surround personal service and come up through the private sector but it's going to have to have then a link to the public sector because what you're trying to get is the public sector emergency, police, fire, rescue, response. Ford Motor Company has launched its own commercial Mayday technology called Rescue. With the push of a button, vehicle location, emergency status, and equipment failure information are sent to the response center while the driver talks with the service provider. Click in security. How may I help you? Hi, I need help. Don't panic. Let me verify your location. I show you on Rotunda Drive, approximately 200 yards. Other electronic manufacturers are developing competing systems that are expected to be available in the very near future. Both the Federal Highway Administration and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration are sponsoring innovative public-private partnerships to spur development and implementation of a nationwide emergency vehicle location system. 
The Washington State Department of Transportation and its partners are leading the implementation of a regional Mayday system for the Puget Sound, Seattle area, known as Push Me. The project is testing two different Mayday devices using cellular technology. Issues to be addressed include the identification of institutional barriers, system performance, human factors, and commercial viability. Colorado May Day is evaluating a technology which requires only a GPS sensor to capture and transmit raw satellite data to an off-site central processor for vehicle location. This approach significantly reduces the cost to the consumer over other methods. The Colorado May Day system is being tested in real-world conditions. The Colorado State Patrol will respond to actual emergencies for the 2,000 participating test vehicles. Minnesota's May Day Plus program will test and establish an emergency detection and response infrastructure in and around Rochester, Minnesota. A rural survey performed by Minnesota GuideStar disclosed that 82% of rural travelers want a way to both manually and automatically alert authorities to the occurrence, location, and severity of an accident. The expressed need was for an emergency detection and response service that does more than current technologies can do. The Mayday Plus project provides security for the motoring public uh, knowing that they're involved in an accident, regardless of how severe, that a law enforcement agency will receive a call of an accident. That, that is a blanket of security uh, for the motoring public. In Buffalo, New York, a team of organizations is developing and testing an automated collision notification system, or ACN, which will automatically detect and report the occurrence, location, and severity of accidents. Over 1,000 privately owned vehicles will be instrumented and utilized in this test project. The ACN system is comprised of crash sensors that measure vehicle accelerations, a GPS receiver for accurately determining location, and a cellular phone system for communication with the central dispatch center. It is essential that public and private sectors work together if May Day is to develop into a commercially viable technology. The public sector, on its part, really has to understand what the needs of the private sector are in developing a fully functional May Day system. It can't be that's somebody else's problem, or we'll do all the things that we have to do on our part, and then it'll take care of itself. We have to work in partnership with the private sector. We have to understand what their needs are. We have to understand their need for bringing in revenue and actually selling a viable product. Much is being learned from the May Day test projects and commercial ventures, both at the institutional and operational levels. There are many benefits in providing this kind of technology improved personal security and public safety, reduced incident notification and response times, automatic notification if the driver is unable to summon help, reduced severity of injuries and increased chances of surviving a crash by faster emergency response. These valuable experiences will provide the foundation for development of critical standards helping to transform cellular 911 service and establish mobile Mayday services. I need help. Don't panic. Let me...